Hello everyone, my name is John Paul, daytradetowin.com. Today I want to teach you something about what it means to trade the news. I'm going to show you exactly what that means, and especially if you look at what happened today, February 10th, this very large green candle here on the chart, what does that mean? So before we begin, remember that trading is risky. Please do not trade with funds you cannot afford to lose. Talk to your broker and really understand the risks involved with trading stocks, options, forex, currencies, there is risk involved. So today we have this large candle and you're probably wondering why did this occur? And this is news driven. News comes out, the US news comes out at 8.30 Eastern Standard. It comes out at about 10, 10.30. And it comes out typically in the afternoon with FOMC at 2 to 2.30 PM Eastern Standard. Now, if you don't have the news indicator, let me show you what else you can do. The news indicator is something free that we offer as a trial. Here is on daytradetowin.com where you can download the news indicator right here. So the news indicator is something that you can uh, download and you can see this on your chart. I'll add it to my chart in just a minute. But you can also, and this is what I'm going to use because the uh, news already occurred. I want to do a little testing and find out if I'm doing this method correctly. You come down here to trading the news under courses and software and when I do that it gives me two options here on the day trade to win website either the investing.com calendar or the US econo day calendar so I'm going to choose here the econo day calendar and what we have for today is three news events we have news events at 8 30 a.m. Eastern Standard New York time we have news at 10 30 and we have news at 2 o'clock Jerome Powell is speaking the Fed. This is important when we have now it's going to be Janet Yellen, uh, supposedly Janet Yellen. So what we have here is some news occurring today. It's outlined by the red star. Whenever you see anything listed in red, red dot, red star, red text, it means it's a market moving event. It'll move the market. Most likely you'll see a big pop either to the long side or to the short side. So if you look at uh, the current state here of affairs and you see a very large candle that looks like this it typically means uh, that it's news driven the last thing that I think anyone should do is jump in and go long after such a large candle as you see it in comparison to all these little candles here right here so how do we trade this what do we do with this how do we approach it well the first thing when I teach this method is I do not recommend jumping in and just buying it long way up here at market. Typically large candles, when you see them like this, they are overbought, oversold. It's typically not something that continues, at least not for right now. I would not buy this. Instead, the way that I teach this method, and let me add here the news indicator. I've already installed it here on this computer. So we're going to go here to indicators. And if you install the day trade to win news indicator, it'll be found in your day trade to win list of indicators here. You can download it for free on daytrade2win.com. Install it on IndiaTrader and you'll see it right here as news 4T for trial. You can um, really look at if you want US only, which I prefer US only, um, and how many times you want to check for the news, the font size, all that good stuff. And when I add it, it's added here to the top left of the chart. So you'll see the news appear here live with an audible alert right before the news occurs so you don't get caught in a trap like this. So what happens is a lot of traders think this is positive and they buy but many times it doesn't follow through and continue. So you can see that there are a lot of traders that are stuck in a long position and have nowhere to go. They buy and they're stuck. So you should not just jump in blindly when you see a large candle. It typically is the last push for the move. What I do instead is I look at the lowest low of this bullish candle and I wait for the market to break anytime into the future, anytime throughout the day when you see two or three or even one candle break the low of this large green bullish candle that happened here at 830. So as we go forward in time, it finally happened. We have two consecutive candles closing below the 
bullish green candle here. It happened at exactly 10, 15, 10, 20 Eastern time. This is a perfect opportunity to be a seller. And I'm gonna to explain to you why this happens. This happens because all of the traders who went long on this candle are stuck and they're stuck and they're holding and they're waiting for it to reverse and it doesn't reverse it's going against them and all of a sudden they say forget it I'm reversing and I'm getting stopped out and I'm going to now recover by doing the opposite and selling the market to try to recover from my loss and it accelerates the move in the opposite direction so this is almost like a correlation where the market pops everybody jumps in late they're wrong the market begins to go sideways they say forget it I'm gonna get out of this trade they click reverse and there you have it it's a reactionary move to this initial pop now it doesn't always do that sometimes the market does make a, a pop and slowly continues in that same direction but if you start seeing this move sideways and you're long you're better off getting out earlier than waiting until you need to in order to then try to recover and reverse. So this is how I like to trade the news. And the opposite would be, let's say that it was a red candle. If it's a red candle and it looks something like this, instead, wait until the market moves and breaks the high of this red candle and closes two or more candles above the high of that red bearish candle. It's the opposite. You're just buying it because everyone who sold it was wrong and now they're reversing. This is very simple. It's price action. This is many of the types of methods that we teach at Day Trade to Win. If you want to look at the trade scalper for today, at the same time that all this was happening, if you don't have any specific way to jump into the market as a buyer or as a seller, you don't know why you should buy or sell, here as an example we have the trade scalper this is a one minute chart very simply it's the same exact time as you see the market beginning to uh, really fall very hard and what you have is right at about 10 15 10 20 a short signal and then you have here another short signal and then you have here a long signal meaning the market is no longer going uh, to the short side and there's long opportunities and then you have here another short this long trade was a losing trade this short trade was okay was a winner this one is a winner this one was okay this one is okay okay so in all we have many signals here to go long and to go short and obviously there are a lot of signals here and I don't recommend everyone take every single signal but if you take a look at the percentages of accurate signals long trades to short trades to losing trades you will be definitely ahead of the game if you have a plan if you know what you're doing and if you say I'm going long for a reason the trade scalper may be one of those reasons that you can go long or short with specific pricing the next mentorship class begins February 25th if you have any questions email me at support at daytrade2win.com or use the contact us page and I'll see you at the next video if you're new to day trading and want to learn more on the benefits of trading the markets, visit daytrade2win.com, join the next mentorship class starting later this month, and subscribe to the Day Trade to Win YouTube channel. We focus on price action and we work exclusively with new and beginner traders who want to learn more on how to prosper from trading.